of my favorite things to do with any finished ceramic piece is to add a clock to it, actually a quartz clock. Uh, on my left here, we have a dog plaque and we can put this dog plaque into a clock. And if I turn the uh, dog plaque around, you'll see where we installed the clock right inside there. And because we're hanging the dog uh, on the wall like this, we don't need a hanger, which we'll show you in a second when it goes onto another piece. So that's the uh, easy way to convert any plaque into a clock. And to my right, we have a simple six by six inch square tile. Uh, we glazed it, we fired it, and then we uh, drilled a hole in it, and then we actually turn into a clock. So it's the clock's on the back of it. We've got the hanger and it's really easy to hang on a wall and it's great for home office. Again, makes a great gift and a great fundraising idea. Uh, so before we show you how to uh, create the clock in this plate, the Toy Story plate, I want to show you the components that make up the clock. There's, uh, first we have a black uh, rubber washer to protect the ceramic piece. Then we have another metal washer to make a little bit of bling to it. Then we have a nut, we have a smaller uh, screw, we have the clock itself, we have the hanger, the hour, minute, second hand, and of course, we wanna have a battery to make sure it's ready to go when the customer comes in to pick it up. So the next step we're gonna do is work, we're going to uh, drill a hole in this plate. So before we drill a hole in the plate, what I like to do is take a little bit of masking tape, and I like to uh, protect the ceramic piece, because if we go in with the drill, and we don't have this tape down, it creates a jagged edge for the hole. But by allowing this little piece of tape there, and then we drill inside the hole, it creates a nice smooth edge, and we get a perfect round hole. So we're gonna, do, we're gonna show you how to do that right now. Now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to drill the plate. First of all, before I do that, I'm gonna show you the bit we're using. It's a special carbide glass ceramic bit, and it's very hard to find in hardware stores, so we stock that. And it can go into any drill, and we're gonna go right into the center of the hole where the Toy Story was. It can be anywhere, but I just go right in there. Feel it going through. And peel the tape back, and you'll see how perfect that hole is. It's absolutely perfect. So the next step is we want to do is we want to push the clock through, but before we push the clock through, because we're going to use a hanger for this, we want to install the hanger on the clock, which we did right there. The next step is to push that through the hole back. The next is to take your rubber washer, place it down. Take another little washer, metal washer. And here's where we have the larger nut, and it's gonna screw these right to the ceramic piece. And this is where you need hands of a surgeon. Not really, but you just need to get it so it's threading properly. And then it'll go right down to the bottom. And then before you put any pieces on, it's always a good idea to tighten it with your fingers, but to try to line up the piece, the hanger at the back, so it's sort of facing, uh, where the O is. So when you're hanging it, it's not like this, it's gonna hang straight. You can always make some adjustments afterwards, but that's where you wanna do it. And just finger tighten it. The next step is to grab the minute hand and place it, and the minute hand is nice and round, and there's a round spot where it goes onto, like that. The next is the minute hand. And as you can see from the minute hand, it's actually rectangle. And it's rectangle for one reason, because when you go to put it on, there's a rectangle slot as well. Hard to see, but if you try to push it on the wrong way, it won't go in. So you have to make sure it goes the right way on the rectangle, on the rectangle. And then the last step is to add this little nut, tiny little nut. This is another tricky spot because it's very, very small. And what you want to do is, again, you might take you a second to get that uh, turning. And you got to find the, the right thread. And this is where it takes a bit of practice. And if you don't get it quite right, just, just take your time and you'll get it. Uh, I've been doing this for quite a while and, and it seems to always, my fingers are too big for it, but I'll get it. And here we go, almost there. Yep, finally got it to, threaded the right way. And then um, before you uh, put the second hand on, you wanna sort of set the time for it. So whatever time it is, 
I like to just move it around with my finger like this and you can see the hour hand moving. So the minute's moving, the hour is moving. And then the last step is to do is to put the second hand on and the second has a little sort of hole there and it just slides right into, middle, into the middle and you just push it on. The last step is to add your battery. Always have double E batteries on the side. There's only one way it goes in the battery. It shows you a little diagram there. Put that in there like that. And then turn it over and you can see the clock moving perfectly. Uh, it's lined up nicely. And so you got yourself a great, great quartz clock. And we made that in a couple minutes. So I just wanted to go over how easy it was to drill through that plate. Uh, we basically set up some foam and then we put a cardboard down. You can use pretty much anything. And then as you go through the plate, you can hear the sound of it actually going right to the end. You can kind of tell you're going through. And then as you go through, you can feel it. And I didn't quite go through the cardboard, as you can see from the back of it. So something that you can do just to make sure you don't go into your table is a smart idea. So just to recap, the clocks come in are sold in a package of five. And there's five quartz clocks with all the hands and all the nuts and screws and the hour minute hand. All you have to make sure you do is have AA batteries on the side so when you do sell a clock you have that ready to go another product we sell is the drill bit itself uh, the drill bit is very hard to find hardware stores so we stock it of course we don't stock the drill uh, the drill also the drill bit will also go through uh, glass as well so if you're doing glass uh, make sure you put it in water so the glass won't crack i want to show you this amazing plate that was created by a big shout out to cheryl field one of our long-term customers and teachers and she made this amazing plate where she took the muffins that were individual and she hand uh, painted them and then we glazed it flat in the kiln. And then once it came out of the kiln, we drilled a hole and we got this amazing piece. So these are great items that you can have for kids too. Very educational in this digital world we have. It's a great way to learn how to, to read a clock properly for young kids. And you can have clocks around the world. You can say what time is in Paris, what time is in New York, what time is in LA. Some of those great things and you can adorn it with different uh, uh, additions to create effects for different cities around the world. So great, great product and lots of fun for everybody. Mm -hmm.